felt by the referee about the possibility of a missile being thrown on from behind the goal. Frank Connors out there on the field. And the man in trouble is Paul McStay. And he's taken a knock in the area of the left ear, I think. The penalty kick goal was taken very well indeed by Roy Aiken. The old-fashioned style, thundering forward to ram the ball past Jim Leighton. And the goalkeeper had no chance at all. Let's hear it in behind McAdam. But they start coming forward. Portis is onside. And that's good goalkeeping by Bonner. Good move from Aberdeen, and the pressure is still on. Trying desperately to get back on terms before half-time. Here's Tom McQueen. Bonner being challenged by Billy Stark. And it's cleared away by McAdam. And Frank McDougall went in late heavily on McAdam. The Celtic defenders are incensed, and that was almost equaliser for Aberdeen. Well, I think it has to be said that McDougall went in there looking for the chance to score. I thought he tried to play the ball. And McAdam, who got to it just ahead of him, took the brunt of McDougall's boot. A minute of injury time played in the first half. Hewitt's corner. Swerving awkwardly in the wind and played away by Willie McStay. And I fancy George Smith will bring the first half to a close very quickly. Yes, the half-time whistle is gone. The players in a hurry to leave the field after a tense, nervy, unsatisfactory and untidy first half. Punctuated though by the only goal. Well, Aberdeen get the second half underway. 45 minutes to go in which they'll be looking to clinch the Premier Division title. They have to find the net twice to be sure of doing that, although a draw would make it a virtual certainty that they would win the championship for the second time in a row. Father McLeod with the clearance. Releasing Morris Johnston. Has he the pace to get away from Malik McLeish? Bill Johnston trying to do it by himself. And that was inches wide. Well, good play by Morris Johnston. He had the confidence there to take on Alec McLeish. The pass from defence, sending Johnston through the inside right channel with McLeish. He came back inside to take him on, went outside again to make the space for the shot, and it whizzed across the face of Leighton's goal. Willie McStay's header. Simpson wins it. It's Hewitt. Good play from Simpson. Now McKimmy going beyond McGrain. And the free kick has been given to Aberdeen. The collision between McKimmy and McLeod. McLeod clearly thinks that McKimmy was the offender. And now the substitution can be made for Aberdeen. Dougie Bell goes off. And Neil Cooper comes on to add some extra steel to the Aberdeen midfield. Yes, with the free kick. There's Willie Miller. The equaliser for Aberdeen. And how Miller enjoyed it. 17th minute of the second half. And Miller is mobbed by those delirious Aberdeen players. Petodri has come to life. Well, an orthodox kind of free kick taken by Ian Fortius, looping the ball high to the box, the Celtic defender attention drawn by Alec McLeish in came Miller, he timed his run well, the downward header sneaking at the far post and Aberdeen are back on level terms and McAdam Bowen trying to make space to hit for the byline he's away from McQueen good tackle by Miller Simpson to Stark. Oh, it's a good breakout by Aberdeen. Stark is still going forward. McGrain played on one side. Good play from Stark. This needs a good accurate cross. And it's well taken by Bonner. Excellent goalkeeping under pressure. 
Pressure was applied by Frank McDougall. Well, explaining to McDougall why he went down. And the referee indicating that he's giving a free kick for the challenge by McDougall. Well, Frank McDougall can manage a smile. Now a change will be made for Celtic. Morris Johnston goes off and Brian McClare comes on. And the Scotland centre forward is replaced by McClare. McClare, the scorer of 23 goals this season, yet couldn't find a place in the Celtic lineup from the start. So half an hour now gone in the second half. Just 15 minutes of the match left. The team's tied up at one goal apiece. And a titanic struggle going on out there for the victory. Aberdeen clear they'll be happier with the draw than Celtic. Next day going all the way himself and forcing McLeish to concede the corner kick. Barnes to near post, start headed it on and Cooper needed over the top. A narrow escape for Aberdeen. Neil Cooper's presence of mind saved them. He need that awkward ball over the crossbar. Cowan trying to get involved. Challenging McStay fiercely. And the fullback does well, and this is Brian McClare. Tackled by McLeish. Less than five minutes left. Celtic still trying all in all to find their way to Jim Layton and get the winner. Brian McClare. Robin wins it back for Celtic, and that's a corner kick. Well, McLeish looking for the defenders coming to the back for Celtic to pick up probably Roy Aiken. Short corner this time, Robin and Burns. Have only sent one man out to cover that. Cloud hooking the ball across goal. Difficult one for Leighton. He's in trouble. And a free kick's been given. It won't count. The challenge on Leighton are judged to be unfair. And the whistle went immediately. So McGarvey's goal is chopped off. So four minutes left for play. Frustration for Frank McGarvey. And we'll see why now why this goal was chopped off but of a close sent over a tremendous ball from the corner flag very difficult indeed hooking the ball across dropping out of the air Leighton underneath it there was the challenge Leighton couldn't hold it it broke to McGarvey and the foul was given Olympic stays clearance it's well taken by Simpson McLeod stepping in here's Neil Cooper here's Billy Stark now Hewitt and a great chance for Aberdeen to settle it. Well, that would have been a dramatic finish. John Hewitt did everything right until the final shot. Set up by Billy Stark. He timed the pass perfectly for Hewitt. He gave himself time to get steadied. And the shot was well saved by Bonner. Well, now, was that the last chance of the match? Or can Aberdeen conjure something from this corner kick? Barely enough time for the corner to be taken. And decide netting for the goal kick to Celtic. Referee George Smith has been checking his watch frequently in the last couple of minutes. And there goes the final whistle. The Aberdeen supporters greet their favourites. Uh, Alec Ferguson undoubtedly demonstrating that he clearly believes the league is well and truly won, notwithstanding mathematical considerations. So a tremendous performance from Aberdeen to come back after trilling from Roy Aiken's penalty goal, five minutes from half-time. And then it was their captain, Willie Miller, who gave an inspired defensive performance and who eventually had the equalising goal, which guarantees the league champion.